In ROS2, you have three options to write a launch file. You can use Python, XML, and YAML. YAML is actually quite new in ROS2. Now, which one to choose between Python, XML, and YAML? Well, this is a matter of preference. And also, what I would say, Python is a bit more complex. It's going to produce bigger launch files, but sometimes you will need a functionality that's only possible with Python. Otherwise, XML is super short and to the point, super easy to use, and YAML as well. Okay, so between XML and YAML, I would say just use one of them by default if you don't need to do anything fancy. And then, well, just if you prefer XML, then write XML. If you prefer YAML, write YAML. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a launch file with YAML. And to create a YAML launch file, we actually need to first create a package to host the launch file, okay? So I'm gonna go to uh, ROS2 workspace. I already have one that's set up and I have a source folder in my ROS2 workspace. In this, I will create a package with ROS2 PKG create that I will name my robot bring up, okay? So usually uh, you will put the name of your robot or the name of your application. So here it's just my robot followed by bring up. Okay, this is a quite typical convention in ROS2 and something you will find often if you browse code on GitHub, for example. So the name of your robot with underscores here and then bring up. And I'm not gonna provide any uh, dependency or build type here. I'm just gonna press enter. Okay, I have this uh, warning for the license, but nothing to worry about. And I can go to my package. Okay, and this actually is a standard C++ package. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the include and the source folder, just like that. And I'm going to create instead a launch folder. Okay, so now I have I have my cmakelist.txt and package.xml. I'm gonna come back to this uh, just a bit later after we have written the launch file. And in the launch folder, I will create a file. So let's name it demo.launch.yaml. Okay, this is a YAML file, so with the YAML extension, but not just .yaml, you will write .launch.yaml, okay? For Python, it would be .launch.py, for XML dot launch dot XML and for YAML, well, dot launch dot YAML. Let's create this file and I'm gonna go to VS Code here that I've already put here to edit the file. All right, and let's start a very simple launch file with just two nodes. And the first thing you will do is to write launch like this with a colon, okay? And that's the beginning of your launch file. And then for each node, so I'm gonna add a space here, for each node that you will start, you will put a dash and then space and then node and a column like this. And then you go back to the new line and you will uh, add some spaces. So here we will need to add four spaces. If I just, I tried with just two and it doesn't work, you have an error when you start the launch file. So with four spaces and let's put PKG. So we will need to provide the name of the package. Okay, if you want to start a node, you need at least the name of the package and the name of the executable. And so let's use demo node CVP. So I'm going to use a very simple example with some talker and listener nodes that I can get from the demo nodes that are already installed with ROS2. Okay, the talker is just going to publish something and the listener is going to subscribe to that topic. Okay, so very basic example. So we don't need to write code. We can just write the launch file. So I need to provide PKG and then exec on the same indentation here, and then exec, and this one is gonna be the talker. Okay, and we have, with just this, we have one node that's gonna be launched. So after the launch, you put dash node, and then you add uh, here, I've added four spaces, pkg, and then exec. Now, if I want to add another node, I will go back to the new line, and I will remove the indentation, and I will put, so I could put it here, but I can also add a space for readability. And I can add another node like that and do the same thing. So I'm gonna add four spaces here and then PKG. Let's do demo node PY. So let's use the Python uh, package instead of the C++ uh, this time just to change. And then exec, that's gonna be listener. All right. And well, I can save the file and that's it. We have a launch file with two nodes. 
Okay, so make sure the important thing is make sure you respect the indentations and the syntax here because anything that you change will break the YAML. And now before we can start this, we need to actually install the launch file. And to install it first, I'm going to actually add the dependencies to those packages. Okay, because from my robot bring a package, we use two packages. So we actually need two packages. So I'm going to add them in the package.xml of this package. And after build tool depends, I'm going to add exec depends with so that's going to be node, uh, actually demo, nodes, cpp, exec depend, and another exec depend with demo, nodes, py. Those are the two packages that I am using here. And if you have more packages, you're going to have also have more uh, dependencies here. Okay, and once you have this package.xml ready, we can go to the cmakelist.txt and well, here I'm just gonna remove the build stuff that I don't need here and those comments just to make it a bit cleaner. And well, between find package and between aimant package, you will add a new instruction, which is to install, to say that we want to install those launch files here in the launch folder. So you need to put directory, like this uppercase. And then I'm gonna add here launch. So why launch? Because this is the directory launch. That's the actually the directory I have created here. Okay. Named launch. And then I need to provide destination. And in the destination, I will put share slash and then dollar sign with curly brackets and project name all uppercase. And then maybe another slash at the end. So what happened here, destination is where I want to install it. We're going to install it in the share. So that's pretty common to install in the share folder of the install folder of the workspace. Okay. And then we can uh, just put project name, which means it's going to be, you can see here, the package name. So what you can do is write exactly this. And then every launch file that you add in this uh, folder here is going to be installed. So of course you need to do a call con build again but you don't need to modify this CMake list anymore. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save the package.xml. And now well, it's correctly configured. So we can build. Let's go back to the terminal and let's go back to our workspace here, just at the uh, root of the workspace. And let's do a call con build. And I'm going to use also packages select. Packages select with my robots bring up. Okay, that was quite quick, just some files to uh, install. So nothing really long to do. And then I will make sure that I source the setup.bash of my workspace. Okay, so either here or in your bash RC, if you have put this in your bash RC. And what I can do now is ROS2 launch. I will put the name of the, so my robot bring up is the name of the package. And then the name of the launch file is, I can use auto completion here, demo.launch.yaml. Just as simple as that. And then if I run, you can see I have, uh, I have the stuff that is running. So the talker and the listener here, let's actually do a ROS2 node list to see that we have our talker node and the listener node and the ROS2 topic list that shows that we have the chatter topic. Okay. So the talker is publishing to chatter and the listener is then subscribing to chatter. And we have some logs here. Okay. Basically now you have seen that while well, this is working, you have successfully written your first YAML launch file. And this launch file is quite basic. Okay. Let's uh, improve it a bit. And actually I have uh, put the node list and the topic list here so that we can see how to change the name of the node in the launch file and how to also do some remapping for example, for a topic, a service or an action. Okay, so let's change those names for the nodes and let's change also the name for the topic. So if we want to change the name of the node, let's do that first. Let's start with the talker. So here we have package and exec. So that's the minimum code we need, but then the name of the node is gonna be the default one that's set in the code. If we want to override this, I just put name like that. And let's say my talker. So by doing this, I just rename the node and let's do the same here. 
with my listener. Great, so as easy as this, I have renamed the node. Now, if I want to change the topic name, so instead of publishing to slash chatter, I want to publish to something else, then I will need to add a remap rule. And so let's see how to do that. You will put remap like this, and then you will need to add, so basically we're gonna add a list of remapping. So you go back to a new line, you stay in this indentation here, and then you add a dash here, you go back to a new line and you add an indentation. So one indentation of two spaces should be fine here. So in total, you will have six. I'm gonna add four just uh, well, just to be consistent by having four here and four here. And here we need to put from, so from what topic, and then two on another line, to what topic, okay? So from, that's gonna be from slash chatter. Let's just rename it to my chatter, okay? And here you have a remapping rule. Okay, if you wanted more remapping rules, then you would just uh, keep one remap like that and then add more. So this is kind of an element in a list. You will just replicate, so duplicate this structure here so that you can remap more topics, services, etc. Okay, and if I remap, well, if I remap the topic on this node, I will also want to remap the topic on that node because, well, otherwise the communication will not work. So I just add, uh, actually, I need to add the remap here. So remap and then a dash and then new line and I have from and to. Okay, I can save. And now let's try again. So let's actually, we are still in the uh, workspace here. So let's do a call con build. Let's do a source and let's do a ROS to launch. And well, we have the stuff that's launched here. You can see my talker and my listener. But to have a clear info, we can just do also a ROS to node list here to see we have my talker and my listener. And I can do a ROS to topic list to see we have my chatter okay, on both nodes because the communication is still working here. Great. And now one last thing I want to show you is, well, let's say you want to add some parameters. So if you have declared some parameters in your node, you may also want to set them, not just from the uh, command line tool with ROS to run, but also in a launch file. And to add a parameter, well, that's gonna be the same, kind of the same structure as for the remap. Okay, so I can add this, for example, in this node here, in this talker node. Let's go back to this indentation here and let's do param. And then a dash, you go back to a new line and then you add an indentation here. So I'm adding four spaces and you will put name. So a parameter has a name and a value. Okay, so the name, let's say uh, param1, just for the sake of it, and test, let's say you have a string parameter and you put a test in the value, okay? So if I have a param2, I go back here, I add another dash, and then indentation name, let's call it param2, and let's say that this one is actually a float number and it's 1.0. So here in this case, uh, I don't need to put the quotes. I can just put the value like this, okay? Because this is recognized by YAML. I can save, and now you can see in this node, I remap. So I have one remapping rule and I have two parameters. Okay, so param, and then you can see one element like this for each parameter. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.